Hello. I'm here. I don't have the captions on. Uh Oopsie. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, uh, hey, uh, you are first. Hello, hello, hello. Tonka, hi. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome on in, everyone. Shockwave, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, you with the four months. Almost five. Almost five. Miyuki with the one year and five months. That's huge. That's huge. Steel. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you guys for the head pad shockwave boo boo hello everyone i'm here i'm super duper sorry uh i you know i could have waited till tomorrow i really i guess i really could have <laughs> it's my own fault i for one i slept in a little bit i slept until like 2 p.m uh and then i was like fuck i really need to go to the store I really need to go to the store. So I went to the store. I didn't even really have a list. I had a list for like a few things that I was just out of. But like, I didn't really have a food list. And then I, I saw this like chuck roast like pound thing. And I go, damn, I should make a roast. So then, <laughs> so then I went and got a bunch of ingredients to make a roast. You know, like I got like the, the beef and the mushrooms and the potatoes and the onions and stuff. I, I got it all. And then and then I made a roast. I it's it's roasting. It's that bitch is gonna be on low like all night. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so oopsie. Oopsie oopsie. But we are here now. Don't worry. Uh, kind of. Uh, in in a in like a couple hours, it's really gonna be like, mm. but I kind of just now got it all like brewing in this crock pot. So yeah, yeah. But we are here. Uh, 1.1 came out. I already updated my game as well. The aromas are, in fact, pending. I'm going to be here for, like, ASMR later. I'll be like, God damn. God damn. My house smelling good as fuck. <laughs> Um, but yeah, <laughs> that, that's, that's what, that's what I've been doing today. I, I just really like to do it because when I, when I make this roast, I can kind of just have a nice roasty meal to eat for like six days. <laughs> or I, I, I guess to be specific, I think I, I roughly get like six bowls out of it depending on how I portion it out. I'm not exactly portioning out to multiple different people, so... You know, when I want more, I just eat more. But... If, if I were to make, like, an average out of it, it's, like, six servings. Give or take. Especially if you're mixing it with, like, other things. But uh I I got I got my my gamer subs flavor. Um I think it's shipping. If anything, the order was like received, whatever. I don't know. But I I got my, my peach tea gamer subs. It's it's gonna be on the way soon, if not already. Excited for that. I'm I'm making a roast that I'm going to demolish over the next few days. That shit's gonna be so good.
and we're just we're just here it's 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 almost the end of the month um we got wuwa update super duper excited for this wuwa update uh i i got on last night for just a wee little bit to update well i was originally just updating the game while i was like eating food after asmr stream uh but then i launched and then i kind of put myself close to the the quest spot i'm a genius <laughs> here let me again i know same shit same code but i am going to be putting that one code we do have in the chat for you all in case you guys have not redeemed it yet mm -hmm. And, uh, I think that's everything. I, I don't think it's posted my go live yet. I'll give it like five more minutes. No, I'll do it now. I'll do it now and then it'll post it immediately after. That's the funny thing. Dinobot doesn't like woo -woo for some reason. There you go, get server pinged. Get server pinged. You're welcome. We're gonna move over here. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Uh we're gonna we're gonna claim the things that I have to claim. Uh I am gonna go do this daily, just real quicksies. I guess putting myself next to that was the most dumbest, pointless thing ever, huh? <laughs> Don't get me out of here. Oh shoot, event things. Oh, it was just that. Yo, pull? Yo, we got a pull? <laughs> I knew I wasn't gonna get it. Um. Currently, I'm just saving. I don't really want Jinshi. Um, but once I get over eighty, any pulls I have over eighty is gonna go into Jinshi. I missed the whole stream. Kuros, I just started. Yeah, but I missed like every then yeah, I I guess you're technically correct with that. But it's only we've only been streaming for 17 minutes. It's okay. Um ASMR is gonna be a bit delayed. But I'm still going to do four hours of this, four hours of ASMR later. Don't you worry to the people who want my ASMR stream, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm currently in the pro- here, I'm gonna run over the stuff going on with my characters. Um... Rover and Yinlin are at 60. I'm in the process of getting my Verena up to 60 as well. 
Uh, when it comes to my rover, I'm working on getting that five-star Genesis Emerald whatever sword. Uh, Yinlin, I have Cosmic Ripples. I could not get String Master. At some point, probably today, um, depending on how this story stuff goes, I'm probably going to do another run on Dreamless to see if I can get a five-star Dreamless. Um, that's good. Um, or because my four-star Dreamless is really good um i'll probably do more runs on tempest to see if i can get not healing bonus <laughs> barbecue hello 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 but my main focus right now is just unlocking that new area right over here uh, it was actually really funny. Uh, you should have seen me. There, there's a little tower thing over here somewhere that you can climb up. I think it's literally this. And I was trying... <laughs> I was trying to sneak my way over here. I, I tried to cheat it. And then in the good old Inazuma days, you know? <laughs> I was... I I was trying to sneak myself over here by climbing up this tower and like flying and it lets you get right next to it. There's like a boat thing over here. It lets you get right next to this boat and then it sends you back. It's so sad. Good night, psych. Uh, I will, I will be doing ASMR four hours from now if anyone is still here for that, but... I saw it. Oh, shoot. When are you exploring outside? Have you seen some pedestals with strange projections? I've seen them. Knife saves me a lot of explaining. While researching, I stumbled upon these weird round pedestals with holographic projections. The circuit design was pretty strange. Apparently, they're called an Im Im imitative sonic device, according to the records. I've always been curious about these devices, so I made a special trip just to check them out. But nothing happened when I tried to touch the projection. My hand slid through it. It's likely because I'm not a resonator. So I was wondering if I could ask you to investigate these pedestals in person. What do you think? I, have I not? Is that not the... Right, I'll send you the coordinates. Thank you, Rover. Awesome. Cool. Is that not the little things that I've been fighting already? Bitch, you're not even the right quest! I'm fuming. <laughs> Why am I tracking that? I'm fuming. <laughs> wrong quest. <laughs> wrong quest, wrong quest, wrong quest. Ah! Can I now get them up to 70? No. When's that? When do I unlock this? 40? Oh, okay. Close. Hi. Hi, I'm here. Over here. Been waiting for ya. I thought Yang Yang said you had a super cool little buddy to show us. Where is it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Sky. Oh, hold on. Hmm. Did it just pop out of your tacit mark? Hmm. Smells good. So, is this how it first showed up when you guys were in the Norfolk Barrens? Yes. Back then, we, as I fought off those tacit discords, a burst of energy erupted from that statue. I'm in a cutscene. Okay, uh, Sky, there's... There's nothing I can do about that. I, I can't get the account taken down. I, I can't do... 
I can't do anything about that. That's all I really can say. Uh, you're more than free to join my... You can start a twit longer and post on Tumblr. There's nothing I can really do about it, though. Um, you you can join my Discord server. And um, there there is a... Uh, why am I blanking? It's my own server. There's a, a ticket, a make a ticket channel. And you can go in there and report it in that in that ticket thing. But uh there there's nothing I can do um except maybe you you could maybe report the account for impersonating another person. But I personally can't do anything about it. Two forces clashed and collided, and later, one of them emerged victorious, vanquishing the other in a violent clash. General Jian and Rover later told me it was this little thing coming out of Rover's body. It was blocking or even consuming the overflow of Thrinodian power. It reminded me of how Rover once absorbed frequency energy with her body in a similar fashion. So, we took her to the academy for a checkup with Baiju. Apparently, this little one is what we had detected before. It's a speculated space or organism hidden inside your body. Now we finally know. Uh, socks. Hi, by the way. These with the tacit discords reverberations. It resembles an echo processed by the data bank, stored inside your body instead of a terminal. In other words, it's your own echo, captured or absorbed at some point. Without you, it can't manifest. That's why Baiju couldn't confirm just how you absorbed that echo back then. Was it you? Was it the little one? Or maybe the two of you together? And Baija discovered more after analyzing your spectrums. She found a new power source within you, similar to the crownless, but even stronger. This power comes from the tacit discord you defeated in Norfolk Barrens. Uh, King, basically what, what's happening is there's someone on Twitter with my name kind of impersonating me. So, the excess energy this little thing had consumed somehow ended up in your body, available mm -hmm, at your mm -hmm. disposal. In other words, there is a deeper connection between the two of you. Or, according to Baiju, it's a convergent codependency. Convergent codependency. Uh, to put it simply, you are connected. While you are two separate individuals, your energies and vitals can affect each other, for better or for worse. You may even feel each other's emotions. The bond between you and this creature is symbiotic. As it strengthens, so do you. However, if one is harmed, the other suffers. You could try the DMCA angle. I really can't though, Steel, because I don't own a username. And I'm not at a point of famous recognition yet for me to have any say-so over who can have my name. So. You yeah, know. <laughs> Fortunately, since it can't ever leave your side, it's not an easy target for attackers, and if they do strike, it can seek shelter inside your body for safety. I I haven't gotten any art commissioned. The model I'm using currently is a pay-to-use model off of, like, Etsy or, like, Booth, one of the two. So, again, there there's nothing I can do. What I, what I think it is, is a person, a artist on Twitter saying they're going by the name Barry Blushy and they do art and commission people and they're like one of the scam artists that are using my name 
I get messages about this weekly. Uh, and there, you know, there's nothing I can, I can do about that. It's just someone with the same username trying to sell you art. Sounds complicated. Let's talk about it later. Now that's pretty much it. Baija was going to explain it to you herself, but she has to go check on a newly appeared Sonora Sphere in Zhao Zhou. Zhao Zhou, I want to go. Wait, Take wait. me. Uh, this is too much information for me to process. Let me get this straight. So it helped Rover fight off the Thrinodian? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seriously, mm -hmm. this teeny tiny thing could do that? <laughs> Seems unlikely. Look down on me. You'll regret it when you learn what I'm capable of. That poker faced researcher was absolutely shocked when she examined me. <laughs> Said I'm not just any echo, I'm a super duper cool one. Rarest of them all. <laughs> You sure you didn't add anything extra? <laughs> oh, actually, while those aren't Baijer's exact words, that is what she meant. She mentioned highly intelligent echoes that connect on their own in other countries, said they are involved in every aspect of human life with unique abilities beyond our imagination. Bread, 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 bread. Those echoes are rare, though. Neither I nor Baijer, an eco acoustics expert, have ever seen one in person. But this little thing here, it could be one of those foreign echoes. Yeah, makes sense. Now we just gotta figure out where it came from. Who knows? We may find other cool echoes in that place. Sure, sounds doable. So, do you know where exactly she absorbed you? Huh? How am I supposed to know? Why don't you just ask her? Because they know I don't remember. Yeah, it happened before she lost all memory, so we have to ask you. But even if Echoes can have memories, they probably wouldn't remember things earlier than their first manifestation. I wonder if that's the case with this little one, too. Aha! Finally! Someone with common sense. That green-haired, serious guy asked me a similar question. Sorry to disappoint, but I really don't remember anything before I showed up. The general? Mm, maybe. Maybe. I was just sleeping inside her this whole time. So of course I don't remember. Sleeping? Seriously? It's been so long. All those happenings, all that fighting, and you didn't hear anything? Well, that's... Your sleeping quality is really something. Sounds like me for real. I could sleep hella forever. Prefer it not stay awake all the time. Uh, so you've got privacy to be respected. <laughs> Don't worry. Your body sound insulation is amazing. You dive into it and everything goes quiet. The only problem is, I never know when I'll wake up again. And when I do wake up, I get tired and hungry fast. Me! I'll back in for more rest. <gasps> I know. It's all because I'm not eating enough. That's why you kept disappearing. You went back to sleep from lack of energy. Makes sense. 
Regular echoes need to be powered by the terminal, too. Hmm. I thought you'd be really different from the usual ones we see. Turns out you share a lot in common. So you probably don't know your denomination or a nickname. No wonder everyone's been calling you the little one. Denomination? What's that? The universally agreed terms for special echoes, like names for humans. They're named based on their characteristics, abilities, and places of origin. My denomination. It's... It's... I don't know. Do I not have a name at all? What? No way. No way. That's not fair. If all the special echoes have names, how can I not have one? But... Echoes don't have the, like, waves. I've only seen resonators with the waves. The woo 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 woosh. I don't want to be called the little one all the time. It doesn't sound cool at all. How about this? You help me come up with a name, and I will let you have some of the food. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing left. You're so uh, cute, yeah. though. Next time, I'll definitely say some for you. Just, uh, just give me a name. Please. A name? Now? Yes, I want it now. Look, your name's Tisha. Your name's Yang Yang, and you, uh, your name is... Berry Blushy. Heh, <laughs> that sounds interesting. Wait, didn't you forget everything? How do you still remember? I don't. I just came up with it. It's my new name now. With your old name and memories all gone, it's a good idea to go with a new one. It makes everything more convenient and represents a fresh start. Yeah! Yeah! Exactly like she said! Every one of you has a name, and I want one for myself, too. I'm really not asking much. The little one's cute! I just want a name that sounds a little cool, a little special, and epic. And super smoking. Uh huh. That's a long list of descriptors. Names are a big deal, you know. <laughs> you have one, it's stuck with you for life. Damn you, Yuki. GG's. Can't have people not scared of me when they hear it. No time for regrets here. That's true. Let's see. You want a cool one. What about Echo the Invincible? What do you say? Nah. Nah. -uh. Absolutely no. That's too straightforward. It's it's no better than calling me the little one. Hey, it makes every difference in the world. I am Echo the Invincible. That's what a hero play character would say as their transformation call. Or, uh, or maybe, since you can fly, and you've got those long ears, why don't you call yourself, a uh, Righteous Raptor, or Valor Hawk, or Flying Fury? No. Absolutely no. Why do they all sound so ugh, cringy? Because they are. Why? I love it when people call me the Jinjo Speedster. Doesn't that sound awesome? Huh? <laughs> sure, if you say so. Anyway, they all sound like anything but my name. Absolutely no. Yo, it's Rover cooking. I 
Absolutely no this, absolutely no that. What do you want? How about you come up with your own name? Let's make it simple. Why don't you just call yourself Abby? Aha! I knew Rover would come up with a good... Wait. Why does it sound so random? You didn't just pick two random syllables, did you? Abby means joy. It's what you bring to us. Is it because I've been saying absolutely no a lot? Uh. <laughs> Maybe I should come up with a better one. Uh, I meant to tease it as a joke, but I can tell it's upset now. On second thought. The name is indeed very important. Maybe I'll have to come up with a different one. Let's just think of another. Uh, Abby, Abraxas? Abra... Abraxas? What's wrong? What are you muttering about? Abra... Kadabra? What? Sounds like you're reading a spell. Uh, I don't know, but I just have this feeling that this is what my name should be. Okay, ready? Yes. Abby. I like the sound of that. <laughs> That's my name. Okay, Abby. I thought you didn't like it. Of course I like it. You came up with it for me. I was just trying to get used to it. That's all. Besides, I feel attached to this name now. You guys are kind of connected. <laughs> My name is Abby. You will not call me the little one again. Absolutely not, little sure, one. We won't. Got it. <laughs> well, that didn't work out. I was hoping we could get some answers from the little, I mean, from Abby. But now we're back at square one. I really thought we could figure out where Abby came from. It might not lead us to other special echoes, but it's at least a starting point to uncover Rover's past. Then we'll have something to do before asking Madam Majesty. Yo, you could call me Barry Blushies. Barry Blushies past. Abby's special abilities instead. Each special echo has a unique ability. We can compare what Abby does with our records of other Echoes to see where they came from. Besides, it was Abby's power that helped Rover defeat the Thranodian, I suppose. Yeah, likely so. Why do you sound so unsure? Who Can goes there? Sky! Nice? Thank you for the follow. You are now a baby bat. Welcome on in. I'd be more sure if I can see it again. Hmm. Abby, can you show us again? I'm super curious how you did that. Who knows? We might learn something. Well, since you asked, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> but this place is too crowded. Let's move to that open spot over there. On it. That little animation was slick. What do you mean? All right, him. All eyes on me. Well, what's going on? Oh, yeah. Oh, again, just you see. It it likes to throw things at me. What? 
<laughs> Did something happen? Uh, j just a little slip. That's all. I can do it. You gotta trust me. Got it. I trust you, Abby. Back then, I just stood in front of her, and that big Bastronodian monster thing just, uh... It just... left. So... you didn't really do anything. <laughs> huh? No, I... I definitely did something. Balanced. Hello, like hello, said, hello. I was asleep, and then all of a sudden, I smelled something really yummy. Coming closer and closer. Uh, it was like nothing I ever smelled before. Me with this time to think. I just had pot, to show up and crock pot out. roast. So maybe Abby's power activates automatically under certain circumstances. Perhaps Abby can't control it yet. Thank you, Balanced. <laughs> yeah, it looks that way. You can't even hold your shape for very long yet. Hey, 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 stop looking down on me. Like I said, it was just a little slip. Really. I think about it. I just stood there and did nothing and ended up beating a Thronodian. Imagine what I could do if I actually tried. Thank you. Uh, so it actually was inspired by any character at all i'll be honest uh, i am actually in the process of getting a new model worked on uh the model artist goes by kinnaman i love their art they are super duper great they've done tons of other vtubers uh following the same kind of aesthetic as me that kind of gothy alt kind of vibe uh necrolina is a really good example uh of another vtuber Kinnaman works with. Uh, I really, I really like their art style. I, I really do. I really do. Uh, we are now just funding the rig, and uh, when, when that's all done and funded and and stuff, uh, we'll we'll have new model. We'll have debut and and everything. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> hey, Rover, get behind me next time we run into anything. Okay? I'll keep you safe. Promise. You better, Abby. You're so real for that, Abby. You bet. I said I'm super strong. I'll protect her. Good. It's very reassuring to hear. But it seems we're stuck again. I can't think of anything else to check out. We'll still need we'll still need to figure out my pass first. Where did you absorb Abby? What are Abby's powers? And what exactly happened between you two? Homura, so hello! Questions we can't figure out yet. Our sentinel joy can look into the future. Nothing ever deviates from its predictions. It has already sort of guided you to the Norfolk Barons through Madame Magistrate's messages, right? Now that the Thronodian crisis is over, perhaps you can consult our Magistrate and our Sentinel again. I'm sure they can offer you some more useful guidance. Yeah. I'll pay Jinshi another visit when she returns. Is that how you say your name? You have me now, remember? Meeting up with that Jinshi person? Yes. Getting your memories <laughs> back? I've got you. Speaking of that, so this Sentinel can predict the future? That sounds cool. The name Jue sounds pretty cool, too. It's almost as cool as mine. It's almost as cool as mine. What does it look like? Where is it? Since we're paying it a visit, this Sentinel should treat us with food, right? Mm. I wonder how the food's gonna taste. Oh my god, it is Paimon. Our Sentinel protects every one of us. Of course it's cool. But why are you talking about food again? Didn't you just stuff your face? What? Is your stomach a black hole? I can't help it. I'm always starving. 
But at least Abby's not annoying. After parting ways with Yang Yang and she sh I can't read that. Several days later. Rover, did you hear that? No. Ow. Uh, Who goes there? So oh, how about we go to that place we went to last time with Yang Yang and Chisha? I love their food so much. Sky! Sky Drill Pro! Thank you, thank you, thank you for the prime subby. That is your first month subbed. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Mmm, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Uh, hello? Are you with me? You seem a bit distracted. With so much delicious food right in front of you, aren't you gonna try any? Well, if you're not interested, I'll gobble it all up. <laughs> <gasps> You've been absent-minded the whole day. Still bothered by that dream from last night? A little bit. I don't remember the dream, but yes. Wait. So oh. you had a dream about the sentinel? Like the one from your flashback when we saw the sentinel statue after you lost your memory? This time I saw something different. <laughs> Hang on. So let me get this straight. The sentinel swooshed you off to a mountain shaped like a dragon. And then there were all these bad things going on with lots and lots of tacit discords. But the Sentinel saved the day. How exactly did it protect everyone again? Oh, in your dream, it made the time different there. Yeah. The time in the mountains seemed to have slowed down from the outside, away from the tacit discords. The Sentinel must have created a barrier by manipulating the flow of time, keeping those monsters out. It was a safe haven from all the disturbances caused by the tacit discords, where people lived peacefully. Also, in my dream, I wasn't affected by the slowed time and bum, 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 freely bum, bum. moved in and out of the barrier. It's no shock that you have awesome powers, being friends with me. Yeah, Abby. Uh, what was that place you dreamed about called? I'm not entirely sure I heard it correctly. But in my dream, the Sentinel mentioned a place called Mount Firmament. Hell yeah, Mount Firmament. Never heard of it. You've never heard of Mount Firmament? And I'm sure you're not from around here. Huh? Hold on. Hey, Did old man. Don't Mount listen Firmament? in on my conversation. On. Did that echo just talk? Relax, it won't hurt you. Come on, man, relax. You don't hear an echo talking every day, but it's not that uncommon either. I heard there's a country called Re uh, Rhinus. What? Anyway, the echoes there are next level. What's up with this Mount Firmament? Oh, you're not from around here? <laughs> well, that explains why you don't know about Mount Firmament. Legends say Mount Firmament is where the first They do have nice cinematography. Lived. It looks like a giant statue of our sentinel, Jue. I've never actually heard of anyone going to that place. They say those who try either get lost in the sea mist or never come back. If you're curious, just head southeast. 
Mount Firmament is on the east side of Whining Ix's Mire. And you can see it from a distance. The South East. What's your take? Any idea? The past few days, especially this morning, I caught this unique smell from the Southeast. Yeah? From that mountain they just mentioned. Capital C and everything? Redcock Ronin? Yeah? Capital C. Thank you for the head pads and thank you for the follow as well. A unique smell. What do you mean? It's like a strong energy pulsing through the air, but I can't quite put my finger on it. It feels kind of weird, though. Doesn't smell natural. Could it have anything to do with what you said? A place where time passes slowly? Hmm. Do you want to go check it out? Yes. I had a flashback about seeing their sentinel. Perhaps that happened on Mount Firmament. I can feel an unknown force guiding me, urging me to go there and find something. Jinsi said she'll go search for the Sentinel and update me on its whereabouts. But so far, I have not heard anything from the City Hall yet. Then, shall we go check it out together? It feels really suspicious. Let's question she about it. I like how our, like, main character actually talks. I, I really do appreciate that as well. Like, when you compare it to things like Genshin. Abby, are you getting sleepy again? Let me uh, take a quick nap, all right? I've got keen ears. If anything goes down, just give me a holler and I'll, I'll be... I'll be up in a jiffy, I swear. But Abby, Abby isn't like annoying. And when you look at Genshin, Paimon is annoying. And on top of that, does all of the talking for the Traveler. The Traveler does not be speaking at all in Genshin. You get like one sentence per like major content update. <laughs> Also, I do know ads are going to be coming up at some point. Uh, whenever that happens, I will be pausing all dialogue so you guys can actually watch the story if you're interested in that. Uh, and I could always take that time to uh, do a few other things, check a few things going on, um, use the bathroom stretch get water things like that or just kind of check the server and stuff hey it's you greetings rover what can i help you with today i'm here for jinshi i have questions about the sentinel i regret to inform you that madam magistrate is not in the city hall she has left for mount firmament in fact, we have not heard back from her for days. So you don't know what she's up to? Unfortunately, no. Please keep this confidential. The situation in Jinzhou is still unstable after our battle with the Thrinodian. We must limit discussion of the Magistrate's whereabouts to a select few. What's going on? When we captured Scar, he claimed that the Fraxidus had imprisoned our Sentinel. It was around the same time that Madame Magistrate lost track of Sentinel Jue. If our Sentinel is truly in danger, or if someone with malicious intent obtains this information, the potential consequences could be as catastrophic as the previous Thronodian invasion. In order to investigate the Sentinel's whereabouts, 
Madam Magistrate has left for Mount Firmament, its last recorded location. Did Jinshi bring anyone with her? Bodyguards? Can you get in touch with them? Madam Magistrate traveled to Mount Firmament alone. The looming threat of the Thranodian discouraged any additional diversion of human resources. Furthermore, when it comes to the Sentinel, force is not a viable solution. I need to go to Mount Firmament to meet with the Sentinel. Jinshi might be in trouble and I want to help. I'm probably going to pull for Jinshi. <laughs> it is beyond my authorization to meddle in your decisions. However, the landscape around Mount Firmament is complex. One must be accompanied by a special wayfinder to navigate safely. That's all I know. Heard. Where can I find this wayfinder then? Currently, she's likely at the ferry terminal in Whining Ix's mire. I'll reach out to her. To learn more about Mount Firmament, you can meet her at the ferry. I lack the same level of understanding of the situation there as she does. All right. I trust Madam Magistrate's decisions. I will do my utmost to handle the public matters on her behalf while she is away. I just... This worry about her safety won't leave me. In her last video message, I could tell she seemed weaker than usual, despite her efforts to maintain composure. Madam Magistrate's situation might not be optimistic. Rover, Mount Firmament is a dangerous place. Please take care. I have sent the coordinates to your terminal. Thank you for your kind help. I pray you will both return safely. Abby, are you there? I'm listening. Hi. Hey, did you notice how the mountain has a strangely pleasant smell? Hmm. It doesn't look edible, though. Are you hungry again? <laughs> Not that I'm hungry or anything. I just tend to doze off easily. Feels like my body can only process what I consume while sleeping. And don't worry. If there's any danger coming your way, I'll wake up like clockwork. Just like last time. Well, unless there's nothing that can even remotely challenge you. In that case, I probably won't wake up. Let's head to the ferry. Hmm. Okay, so here's my thought process. I really... So I I wanted to get the, the one that comes afterwards. And I still might even pull on her as well. The orange one. <laughs> but because I know Jinshi is a quick swapper... I have Yinlin, and I've been trying to build a team for my Yinlin, but I don't have Kalturo, as I call him. Thank you for the Hydrate Shockwave. So I can probably run, like, Jinshi, Yinlin, and Verena. But I would probably also get her weapon also adds just popped so i am going to take a quick little brb i kind of downed my whole cup of water for some reason i guess i was really thirsty uh so i i'm gonna quickly brb before continuing the story stuff and yeah okay back have fun enjoy the lo-fi
We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Hello. Hello. We're here. Uh, so yeah, uh, that that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull for Jinchi, and I'm gonna wait to get the weapon. Just cause. We're gonna we're gonna start doing some pulls. Actually, do I have any? Can I buy more? Can I buy more pulls? I can. It doesn't really do anything, but I can. <laughs> so let's see, where am I at? One, two, three, four. I'm gonna just do the one so we can bring it to an even five. And then we're going to do 10. What five star did I get? Okay. Worry not. My crimson blade will not harm you as long as you Cool. But got any more? No. Okay. Uh this is 25. Another time. <laughs> That's cool. I'm fine with this. We're chilling. Cool. Cool. And 35. Lunar Cutter. I'll take it. The streams have guided me to Yang Yang. Don't really care, but I'll take it. And then we'll end there. And just save up for another... We'll do five. We'll do another five pull. Maybe. Unless we get, like, way more pulls somehow. Or I just, like, forget. Let's put their resonance things in. That's all I got. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I will I will pull for her weapon after I get her. I I'm already I, I've already done pulls in the weapon banner, not on that specific weapon, but I was pulling for string master, so I do have pity built up there. Why do you... oh. All the way over here. Da, 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 da. As if I'm not gonna go get that. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh! That was close.
Uh, what's gonna happen is I'm probably going to go over and unlock the new area and then do a bit of farming real quick and then go back to the story. Hello, Trinity. Thank you for the head pads. Hi. Are you trapped here by the rain? Oh my god, you're so hot. Marry me. <laughs> now I'm waiting for someone. I happen to be waiting for someone too. Oh my god, you were the one I was gonna pull. Who are you? I am Chun Li. Your yeah, hi, mommy. <laughs> Don't worry. The rain won't last much longer. Our destination lies just beyond it. Rover, what do you know about Mount Firmament? There's a mountain. <laughs> it's the place where Jin Show was founded. There is a you have ombre thing. nails. Have you heard of it? While hiking the only thing I want to hear is your voice. A woodcutter came upon two people playing Weichi. I don't know what Weichi is. Enthralled with their game. Upon his return home, he found a world transformed. Everything was different. As if in a new reality. That mountain was a secret realm where time worked differently. Well, the, 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 the. spent half a day inside, but outside, a century had passed. Mount Firmament is such a place. But unlike this folktale, there is a price to pay for entering and exiting its grounds. If I spend a full day in the mountains, ten days will be taken off my lifespan upon my leaving, reflecting the actual time that has passed outside. But... Not to mention, the situation on Mount Firmament right now is probably even more complex than before. What happened? The strange time patterns of Mount Firmament are tied to the Sentinel's temporal mandate. Time ebbs and flows at its will. You guys use the ebbs and flows a lot. If the Fraxidus really has imprisoned our Sentinel, causing it to lose control of its powers, that could explain the temporal disruptions. Which means Mount Firmament is basically a dead end, with no way out. And you are heading straight into that dead end? Lifespan is not the top of my concerns. If you've decided to venture there, I'll join you as your wayfinder. Blessed! Jin Shi has stayed on Mount Firmament for too long. Sanwa said she might be in danger. She doesn't miss a thing, does she? Before Jinshi left for Mount Firmament, scales began appearing on her body, and her resonance ability was weakening. Dragon! Those signs pointed to a dire situation for the Sentinel as well. That's why I must lead you there. You might have the key to solving our dilemma. Yeah. What do you mean? You're here because I invited you. Sanhua was instructed to disclose my whereabouts if you ever went to City Hall and asked about Jin Shi. How did you know I'd go to the city hall? It's no surprise that you went to city hall for answers, considering your memory loss and Jin Shi's prolonged absence. Fair. I need to tell you the truth. Because 
You've been the top priority. No, the sole concern of our enemy, the Fraxidus. Yes. That overseer tried everything to sway you and make you join their side before our battle with the reviving Thranodian. I still want to join their side, to be honest. Scar can... Scar could have his way with me. But you could too. You could join. Especially at Mount Firmament. Why do they care so much about me? Records at the Grand Library tell a tale of someone who dared to enter Mount Firmament after the Sentinel's descent, and they emerged unscathed, as if time had no hold on them. Heard. They were also said to have stood alongside the Sentinel. Heard. And here before me stands someone who bears an uncanny resemblance to that very Why are you individual. being so hot and walking around me? You think that person is me? Is it you? If not you, who else could it be? You, you're hot. <laughs> it took me some effort to finally reach this conclusion. Rover. The journey ahead is filled with danger at every turn. Once we venture into the mountains, there's no turning back. Are you sure you still want to join me? Yeah, because I'll just come back. Yes, this strange time pattern can't hurt me. As your wayfinder, I'll lead you to your destination. What you do after that is entirely up to you. Got it. Oh my god, are we gonna hold hands? Oh, never mind. And the sky will soon clear. It's you have like a permanent blush on your face and it's the cutest thing ever. Why are the characters in this game so hot? All of them are so hot. It's not fair. They're all so hot. Look at her. Look at them. Look at Fem Rover. Look at her. I ah. Uh. Swoon. And her little umbrella. Seagulls? There ain't no way Rover just passed out. It's so pretty. The animations are so good. Firmament, but we won't enter the temporal barrier until we cross the luminous shore. Shall we proceed? The storm is coming. Some people. I'm sorry. I. The bridge has broken. I can fix it.
What's this? Judging by its design and intricate details, it must be a creation of the Court of Savante. This is what they call a Chronos Order. What is that? It mimics the Sentinel's temporal mandate, able to reverse small-scale events and restore objects to their previous state. My master once told me about the Court of Savante and their fearless quest to unravel the mysteries of Mount Firmament, risking all in their pursuit of understanding its strange flow of time. Their dedication bore fruit in the form of fascinating inventions, such as this Chronos Order. Fair. Valid. But it doesn't add up. What's wrong? Why hasn't this brilliant invention spread beyond Mount Firmament? This Chronos Order was built beyond the temporal barrier, so its creator must have already paid the price for leaving. But even if they died, there are countless other CSC members who could replicate it. How did such advanced technology become lost? I don't know. They died. Or do these Chronos orders stop functioning once they are removed from Mount Firmament? It's probably that. What should we do now? This Chronos order, weathered though it may appear, bears no signs of neglect. Someone has tended to it diligently. Let's Give it a try. I love tutorials. Use the Corona Sorter to alter the flow of time in a small area, changing the state of certain items within that space. Move the timeline to the right to fast forward. Time it in its effective range. Move the timeline to the left to rewind time in the effect when in its effective range. After finishing your adjustments, the objects affected by the Chronos Order will remain the state they were let they were in after the most recent timeline adjustment. Cool. I can do that. What uh did it? Okay, I come back. I come back. I... What do you mean award? Rewards? I haven't done anything in here. I'll go back to that. I'm gonna get some, uh, like, daily grind. I'm gonna dump my energy. rewards ow thank you for the hydrate thank you thank you i've hydrated we're gonna get this these trophies Oh, this is just do the thing. <laughs> do main quest. <laughs> Gonna get you to 60. Cool. Um.
I'm gonna go run this real quick. Let me in. Let me in, let me in. We go. This is a testament. Don't blink. My field is to I've had enough. Get lost. One of the sounds. None shall whisper. Ha, check me. Oh. I thought <laughs> I thought there was gonna be more Okay, we're gonna I don't. I, what? What do you? What do you focus? <laughs> like this one, the middle one. Oh well, shit! Now I'm out of these. No. You can't craft these. Oh. All right. Um where where is it? Where is it? You We fight this guy. Fuck. Your time is over. Ha! One with the sound. Ha! 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 The Murder. Well, shit. Okay. Okay, I got a five star. I got a five star. I got a five star. Surely. Surely it's good, right? I'm scared. Oh, I got crit rate. We got crit rate. We got crit rate. We got crit rate. We got we got crit rate. We got crit rate, guys. <laughs> we got crit rate. Oh my god. Holy shit. We do it again. We do it one more time. Just uh just to see. You know, but 
We got crit rate. We got crit rate. Void Thunder, crit rate, attack. Could I get another crit rate? Could I get like a crit rate crit damage? Is that something I can technically get? You guys know this game more than me. Can I get both like a crit rate? Is there even a crit damage? Yeah, crit damage. Can I get a crit rate crit damage? Or is it just going to be crit rate and attack? Like, can you get anything but attack and HP in that bottom bar? Because it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Damn, you finally got me. I was literally in the air. Keep it together. One with the sound. Damn, damn, holy shit, Marina, please. You're dead, right? Yeah. Okay, well, obviously that's not better. So we're just gonna stick it with the crit rate. Because that's just great. That's amazing. We're gonna max it out, right? We're gonna max it out. And surely it's all just crit. Surely it's all just crit. You know, uh, it's not, but oh well, it's, it's perfect the way it is. It's perfect the way it is. <laughs> uh, can, is there anything I can throw in my data bank? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, well, I kind of want to keep these for now, just in case I haven't gone through them all yet. Um, what else? I can I can do some farming on my Verena. Yeah, that. I really want to get all of this maxed out. But I don't have those materials, so uh what else? I guess her uh 
her things. What weapon do I have on her? Do I have variation? Yeah, I have variation on her. I guess I go by Bellborn. Yeah, I guess I go fight Bellborn. Where's Bellborn? Here. I just go and see. I just go and see if I can get a five star. You can't hurt. And back what I miss. Um I I got five star tempest crit rate. So I'm I'm just a happy little camper. <laughs> Please hurry up. <laughs> Oh. Brother, <laughs> the one HP. <laughs> Do you have to claim the rewards to get him? Because I fought him like a few times already and haven't gotten a single drop. This is a testament to my connection with the world around me. And it's very much my companion now, bearing witness to everything I've experienced on this journey. It's a wave plate only, right? Oh. No? Okay. Splish splash. I know it's a two minute timer. I'm just splish splashing. this basic bitch ass blue one and it would just kind of be good to not have that <laughs> like it literally has crit damage <laughs> and for the first time i'm not going after crit damage 
I really need to work on all of these, to be honest. I'm just gonna leave this one on there for now, but then it's like... What, what was going on here? What was going on? Look, I ain't got shit for Rejuvenating Glow, man. Look! Oh! Let me in. Ow. Yeah, I forgot you do that. Sorry. Life is in everything. Yeah, Tear them to pieces. My field of expertise. Time to wrap it up. Where the fuck did it put me? Oh, okay. Luckily, I got it. Uh, three! It's a three star. What is it, though? What is it, though? You know what? I'll fucking take it. I'll fucking take it. It's better than this, technically. Like, it's not leveled up. I don't intend to level it up, but it's better than that. Like, preferably, I would have a five star. So, I don't, I, I really don't really care to level it up. Yeah. Just having it base there's better than the fucking crit damage Verena. <laughs> what can I drop energy into? I like I I'm still kind of new to this whole leveling up characters thing. I don't need any more XP at the moment because I can't even I'm not even at that like part yet. I can't even do that. The weapons are fine. I don't really care to touch my rover at the current moment, just in case I do get Jinshi. Because I am trying to get Jinshi. Stop. Stop. I think I'm at 35, right? I'm at 35? 5... 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yeah, I'm at 35. Uh, I'll do five more pulls. Individual. Fuck it. Three. Four. And five. Cool. Okay, now I'm at 40. I'm at an even 40. Which is really weird because every 10 convenes guarantees a four star or above. And I'm at 40. Oh, never mind. I take it back. I just don't really care about Yang Yang. Am I the only weird one that doesn't really care about Yang Yang? Yes, Karumi, have a good day. Am I still here? I'll fight him again. 
Just to see. I'm already here. Might as well. It'll take like two minutes. Well, it's what I get. Okay, what do I dump? What do I energy dump into, Homura? What do I energy dump into? I'm either going to be doing stuff for my Yinlin or my Verena. But, like, Verena is just Verena. Yinlin's, like... Weapon mats? I guess. I just don't have anything in the skills. And it makes me feel like a little baby bitch. I think I can just craft that, to be honest. So I'll go do that real quick, so I at least have it. Sorry, didn't mean to teleport away from you. Oh, I need four total, not three. Duh. Hold on. It wouldn't be bad to get cosmic ripples up. And then I need four of the blue ones. Can I even craft those? Yes. But I don't even have these. But I have these? Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, how do I get you? Oh. I found it. Hi, barbecue. Hello, hello, hello. This is a testament. Your time is over. My fear will get you. I'll pay it back tenfold. <laughs> One with the sound. Down with the curtain. Bitch! Nowhere to hide. It costs so much facts. Hmm. 
Let me get this trophy real quick because we love old materials. Uh, da, 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 da. Go here, go here, go here, here. Sorry, I'm a liar. Fuck, I need one more. Ha. Uh, we go back in. Who goes there? Homada with the hydrate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because it never ends, facts. This is a testament to my connection. Okay, now we upgrade Cosmic Ripples to a good old 60. And we just like fully level it up because I can. Awesome. Now I don't have to touch it for a while. Not a Drix. Hello, hello, hello. And then what's the inland? Uh, circuit? That's basically what I just want to, like, shove it all into. Look at this. Fuck. Yeah. No mercy. My field of expertise. You won't cast me down. I'm literally pressing. I'm literally pressing. Goodness. Well, yeah, like at some point I do plan to max all of it on Yinlin, <laughs> but I don't have that ability at the moment, so. Now we go to synthesis. Wish I could do this shit in my backpack, though, to be honest. To be honest. And then after that, we'll probably get right back into the story because I energy dumped, so I'm chilling. What did I need? I needed the star.
I know, I'm sorry. I I got the wrong one. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's better than before, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Do I go try to fight that bird real quick again? Shay, hello, hello. Thank you for the head pats, not a Drix, and the Hydra. It's only the level 2 one. Holy shit, though. Probably should have gone back. Because my characters are low. My characters are low. Oh, never mind. I'm a liar. I didn't need to. It, it just gives you full health. No, bitch. That's my own fault. That's my own fault. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. We we do it again. Uh. And then it doesn't revive her. Oh, you're cheating me. You're cheating me so hard. <laughs> It full heals you? Yeah, but then out of the fight, um, it doesn't. Your time is over. My field of expertise. <laughs> sound. Last chance. Motherfucker. <laughs> Murder. Sounds are fading. No mercy. I can't keep going. My field of expertise. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> anyway, we're just. <laughs> Yo, we ain't doing that. We ain't fighting that bird. We are not fighting that bird. No, it's okay. I don't need help. This time, this time we do it. Oh my god, please pop your ult. Oh 
I'm scared. No, I'm dodging you, bitch. My field of expertise. I've had enough. Get lost. Think you got to fly over We're not fighting this fucking bird. <laughs> we are not fighting this fucking bird. Okay, that's that's just that's just it. We're just not fighting this bird. We're not gonna fight this bird. We're just gonna we're just gonna go all the way back over here. We're gonna we're gonna go back to we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go back to the story. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to the story. Yup, yup, yup. We're gonna go back to the story quest. We need we have a whole new area to unlock. My data bank has to be leveled up. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, the we got with union level. Look at that. Okay, we just we do story. I will quickly be RB. I know the ads already popped. I'm super duper sorry. I'm just going to take a quick little BRB to kind of stretch my shoulders killing me today. Uh and I will be back. Ugh.
field of expertise. Bro, my mic was muted. Oh my god. Did you not? Oh my god. I unmuted it. It said it was unmuted and then it remuted. Yo, butterflies. Sorry, I'm following these. Oh my god. Guys, listen here. I As soon as I fucking muted to like go BRB, the biggest lightning strike happened and it scared me so bad. I have a fear of lightning, okay? Let that just be known. I have a fear of lightning, and I, I love storms and heavy rain. It could rain all the time, and I'd be I'd be so happy. I, I love, like, the heavy, like, the strong winds, heavy rain downpour. Weren't they concerned about losing lifespan? Oops. <laughs> For those fanatics, nothing mattered more than the truth. To live every moment with overwhelming passion. How many can claim such a tenacious drive and unshakable determination? Yeah, I had the. It was the biggest, like, thunder, like. And it, like, shook my house. I hate that. I have, I have the biggest fear of that. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I don't know. I just hated it. I hated it. I want to go home. No, man. I'm trying to do a puzzle. More? Fraxidus. It's them again. They've set traps all around the luminous shore. They must have anticipated your arrival. There's nothing... Oh. I thought I needed to pick something up. And place it on the other one. Oopsie. Oopsie, oopsie. Yeah, excuse me? What the fuck? The entrance is sealed. It's the photon barrier. Another invention from the court of Cervante. Specific steps must be followed to undo the barrier. Rover. I'll I hate you. thunderstorms. I just like heavy rain and wind. But I, w when once you start including thunder, I I want to leave. I want to cry. Fo photon vault and photon barrier. Photon vaults usually appear in sets and emit golden energy paths connected to the photon barrier. Both ranged attacks and melee attacks can deactivate photon vaults. Disabling all photon vaults in a set will deactivate the photon barrier. Once the photon barrier is down, the stationary enemies inside will become active again. Use long range weapons on the photon vaults to cut off its energy. Once we reach the cave's end, we'll enter the domain of Mount Firmament. That Proceed was with caution. Sorry, that whoa technology moment. Uh where I walked into the cave and then the voice changed to more cave uh echo. Fish.
so it can't hurt me. <gasps> Is this the effect of that strange time pattern you mentioned? Time on Mount Firmament used to simply flow slower than in the outside world. Visitors were safe as long as they remained within the temporal barrier. But what we're seeing now is different. The flow of time has gone haywire. This is what we call temporal disruptions. Uh -huh. Grandma the Heart Monitor. Hello, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. You are now a baby pet. Chaotic and turbulent. Some areas are frozen in time while others speed up or slow down unpredictably. Oh, Luke no Blaster, thank you for the, the follow. You are not a baby pet as well. Aging from youth to old age may be a blessing compared to the unknown fate that awaits. Leaving Mount Firmament could turn any mortal to dust in just a moment. Such is the power of time within its walls. These poor creatures, trapped in the temporal disruption, are the most pitiful of all. Their bodies and minds have been ravaged by the chaotic time. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Leaving them in unimaginable suffering. So, it looks like the Fraxidus did manage to capture our sentinel, leading to the temporal disruptions we are facing now. I had wished that my theories would turn out wrong. As expected, my terminal isn't working. We can't reach Jinshi. The temporal disruption is preventing it from functioning. Jinshi. We can't waste a moment. Jinshi's fate isn't the only one at stake. All the inhabitants of Mount Firmament are in danger. Okay. We need to hurry to Hongzhen, a town nestled at the heart of Mount Firmament. Jinshi would likely pass through there on her search for the Sentinel. Heard. Can I get that teleport point? Thank you. Yo, yeah, this place is so perfect and pretty. I love it here. This is great. The temporal disruptions have spared nothing on our way here. Cheng Li, does that mean you're in danger too? So far, nothing feels out of the ordinary. It seems the Sentinel contained the situation before being fully trapped. But I don't know how long the stability will hold. If I go down, please don't worry about me. You need only focus on what you have to do. Heard. I, I'm just seeing a bunch of stuff to collect, and so now I'm going collection mode. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh. <laughs> Any mods of the Discord free to DM? Wishy-washy, if you need to contact the mods, please create a ticket within the Discord server. Bro, 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 I'm stuck. An unexpected discovery. Bro, do I have to long range it? Huh. 
Ah. Ah. Not the drowning noises. Now I feel bad. Oh, I'm I'm underneath. I gotta climb. It made the worst drowning noises. I feel awful now, man. It just like, like drowned. Oh, the little guy. That was a raw gargle. There's another bell, and I see it, so I must get it. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna start hearing that thunder. <laughs> this would be a really good time to say, hey, uh... When it's thundering, it's probably pretty heavily lightning ing and uh <sighs> there's a chance my power could go out. I'm gonna be saying that lightning ing <laughs> Yo, sixteen already, let's go. You know we're gonna go over to the store, we're gonna get all of the- I can only get one. I thought I had enough for two. Lightning ging ging. Yeah. You know, lightning ging ging. Uh. Yes. What's the matter? I dreamed of this place. I love God. Four, five, eight, nine, five. You sound like a bot. With the amount of numbers. Hi, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you for the hydrate as well. I dreamed of Hong Jin being attacked by TDs. The, the numbers! Closely aligns with the accounts documented okay, the you're not a bot. It's just the numbers, okay? Over a century ago, a vast horde of tacit discords invaded Huanglong. Hongjin suffered greatly during that onslaught. Do you get that a lot? You probably get that a lot. Thank you for the posture check as well, wishy-washy. But you can call me love, okay. Hi, love. I can tell you why. It's because of the numbers. You have like 20 numbers at the end of your name. 
which makes it seem so like <laughs> fake. Thankfully, the sentinel descended, manipulating time to erect a protective barrier, keeping those monsters at bay. Rover, perhaps that dream is more than just a dream. I see you in my dreams strongly. Okay. And a guiding light for the future. My day's been going good. Uh, I'm currently making a like beef pot roast, uh, crock pot roast thing. It's the Fraxidus. Yeah, um, we're gonna do about roughly 30 more minutes of story, and then we're gonna head back over to farming, grinding stuff, um, potentially, if I... I already wasted my energy, but if my energy recovers enough to do more runs of things, then I will blow through my energy again and then i'm going to try to get a few more uh turtles for my varina the geo the bellborn hongjin is a pivotal location linking various parts of mount firmament with the fraxidus now targeting us they'll seize any opportunity to intercept our path they've laid a trap in hongjin but every trap has its weak points. What's this? Someone has used their resonance ability here. But it feels different from the Fraxidus aggression. It's Jinshi. And it seems like she used it in a dire situation. Could it be related to the people of Hongjin? When are you going to be doing ASMR? Uh, hour 30... Two and a half hours, roughly. Uh, I know I normally do ASMR starting now. Uh, I normally would start my ASMR at this point. Hi, to all the new people here, I play games. Yes, I do. I also do ASMR for you guys as well. Um, normally, I would be starting ASMR right now, but... I started streaming late, so we're we're gonna push this out to a four hour long stream and then we're going to do a four hour long ASMR stream later as well. The traces lead deeper into the heart of Hongzhen. Roughly two hours, Let's give or know. take. Don't let your guard down. The traces. Someone fought here against those Fraxidus. Must be Jinshi. Her trails led to this location. Using her resonance ability too much would only worsen her condition. But she must have had a reason. Was she helping the people of Hongzhen find refuge? I don't know. Chang Li, there are traces here. They're pointing north. Let's proceed in that direction. I don't have to fight you guys. I don't have to fight you guys. I don't have to fight you guys. Look, I'm I'm doing quest things. This vase on the stone table seems rather peculiar. There's something behind the waterfall. Another photon barrier. Three photon vaults to break. Will we use ranged attacks? Who do you think I am? <laughs> Who do you think I am?
That worked. <laughs> I'm hyped to see if you make it to the fun part of the story. I didn't think it was going to be this long. I thought it was going to be like, hey, there's this new place anyway. Lady Xingyi. Relax, there are honored guests. No need to be tense. In a single day, we've greeted both the Magistrate of Jinzhou and her trusted counselor in Hongzhen. I can only assume something significant happened. It's been a while, Chang Li. I heard you stepped down from your position and moved to the countryside. And now here we are, meeting again after all this time, in such unfortunate circumstances. For years, I live secluded. No longer concerning myself with the matters beyond Hongzhen. But the current situation in Jinzhou is volatile. It has reunited us in an unpredictable moment. And you, young lady. What shall I call you? Uh, very blushy. My name is Xin Yi. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Please follow me this Hi. way. It's not safe to talk here. Okay. Girl, you walk... You know, for an old woman, you sure do walk fast. I believe you are here for Magistrate Jin Shi. The Magistrate left Hong Zhen about 15 minutes ago. She should be at the Truth Seekers Pass now. Okay, the Truth Seekers Pass? That's what they call it in Hong Zhen. You might know it better as the ruins of a Court of Savante facility. What is Jin Shi doing there? Lady Shenyi, please elaborate. Oh my god, her little wave mark is... Madam Magistrate, are you... I'm fine. How's the situation? Have we evacuated all the civilians? Yes. Remaining civilians have been counted and escorted to safety. Good. These hidden chambers should provide some much needed shelter for them to rest a little. Despite being the Sentinel's appointed resonator, I haven't been able to sense its presence for some time now. I can feel my resonance ability waning, and I get my power from the Sentinel. This can only mean one thing. The Sentinel's condition is getting worse. Lady Xing Yi, I need to know where the Sentinel was last seen. I can only fix the temporal disruption within a confined radius. It's already pushing my limits to keep this small pocket of space secure. Mount Firmament is in serious trouble, and we can't waste any mm -hmm, more time. Mm -hmm. We need our Sentinel to stabilize the time flow. The Sentinel was last seen flying towards Mianlun Chamber, where it would normally rest. The Fraxidus likely swarmed it soon after. 
But little did they know, we had a defense system in place, built with the help of the court of Savante. It was reactivated as soon as our sentinel made it back inside. This mechanism has allowed us to locate their troops. And we've already eliminated some of them outside the Mianlun chamber. Awesome. To get inside Mianlun chamber, we have to find the cipher key in Truth Seeker's Pass and unseal it with the key forge. Understood. I will go bring back the cipher key. You are injured. Please rest and leave it to me. The Fraxidus will most likely attack this place once I leave. You must stay here and guard it. Awesome. Put yourself in danger. Help me keep our people safe. Yes, I will, Madam Magistrate. Before I headed to Mount Firmament, the Fraxidus revealed a prophecy from our Sentinel. A fateful clash between the Sentinel and myself that would shape the fate of our city. Yeah. I never intended to believe their baseless claims, but I was not surprised to hear it. The Sentinel had told me long ago that there would come a day when I surpass it in power. A day when the humans of Jinjo take control of their own destiny. Once we save the Sentinel from danger, I intend to have a serious conversation with it about this prophecy. And then she left. There's still one thing that doesn't add up. How did the Fraxidus kidnap our Sentinel? The Mianlong Chamber was once renovated by the court of Savante. Yeah. Do you think their research could be involved somehow? I'll look into what you said. But once we have the cipher key... The Mianlun Chamber will be left vulnerable to the Fraxidus' potential retaliation. We must keep them at bay. Rover and I are headed to the Truth Seekers Pass to meet up with Jing Shi. We'll distract the Fraxidus' main forces, giving you an opportunity to stage your ambush. And the locals will handle the rest. I will send some men to open up the side exit for you. Head south and keep walking a couple of minutes, and you will see the Truth Seekers pass downstream. Thank you, Lady Xingyi. Please, leave it to us. In this place she was born, and in this place she returns. Our Magistrate's fate is bound to Mount Firmament. I skipped through the story and it took me 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, no, I've definitely been doing this for over 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> I could skip through it, but I like playing this story for you guys. It's nice and comfy, and I like to learn about the game that I'm playing. Did Xingyi and Jinxi know each other? Jinxi was chosen as a baby for her resonance ability, and raised in City Hall to become the Sentinel's appointed resonator. All the government workers there helped care for and teach her at some point, including Lady Xingyi. She grew up with immense responsibilities, forced to suppress her true nature from a young age. Thinking back, Jinshi was only a teenage girl when she became the Magistrate. She has been burdened with unimaginable weight that 
Most cannot fathom. I assume this is the Truth Seeker's past, Shin Yi mentioned. Yes. I like the story! <laughs> this should be another Chronos Order. It should work in similar ways with the one we saw near the Luminous Shore. The entrance is built on that cliff. And it's the very locked. beginning, like, tutorial area was like, uh. <laughs> we will need to break the three photon vaults with ranged attacks first. What is it called, Changli? Nothing. I was wondering, how did the Court of Savante create such an advanced mechanism using the Sentinel's power? Mortals aren't supposed to be able to comprehend it. I've never heard of any human civilization having the ability to manipulate time. Look at her little wave tattoo thing! Ah, oh, the thigh squish! The sentinel willingly taught them. But why? We need to focus on items related to the court of Savante in Truth Seekers Pass. Maybe we can find some clues there. Oh, I need to. How do I do that? One of the photon vaults always ends up blocked off. We can't seem to break three of them at once. Perhaps we'll need to. Oh, really? Oh. What? Oh, it's the Chronos order. Yeah, no, still confused. Do I need a gun? Fine, fine. my level 20 alto to the rescue so how do i do this because that doesn't break so yeah And I go all the way to the left. Yep. Okay. Good. Did you see the tacitite fulminate on that? Oh, cliff? there's Perhaps a thingy. We can an opening in this disc with an explosion. Ow, bitch. Cool, yeah, I get it. Never mind. I don't get it. Oh, the opening fits. Now I get it. Rover, now we can hit the three photon bolts simultaneously. The blockade has been lifted. Let's go in. 
Yeah, but like I'm just swapping back. Good. There's no time to waste. Wasn't Oh. 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 Barry. Barry. There's so many bells, but I'm not seeing any bells. Why are there tacit discords here? No. These monsters? They don't look like the usual tacit discords. These also look like the works of the Cold of Savante. Did they create these simulated holograms to protect this place? Murder! Bitch! I'll fuck you up. That thing up ahead. Is it another mechanism? It seems to have worked <gasps> after we got rid of those holograms. Let's go and have a look. Oh, I hate this place already. I want to go home. Remnants of the past. I want to go home. I don't like this. I don't like this. Nope. 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 You know, all for creativity. Who came up with that deserves to be fired. Anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The glowing patterns on that gate. It's a flare crest. Did the court of Savante build this too? Yes. Ah. The flare crests have a complex structure, but they can be deciphered with patience. Please keep talking. See how each star represents a flare stone? Yeah. That mechanism we accidentally solved earlier should be one of them. That's why the corresponding star has dimmed. Yes. We still need the other two flare stones to open it. Got it. Wait. Holding. The blood and scales here. It's Jinshi. Jinshi was injured. She is likely teetering on the edge of overclocking now. We are running out of time. I still don't fully understand the overclocking thing. But like, yeah. Uh, I go this way. What are her temps? What? Oh. <laughs> Jinshi's? Don't know. Her CPU must be pretty bad. Oh shit. Oh. Remnants of the past. Decades have passed. But those researchers' presence... Yeah, yeah, Jue, whatever. 
I'm all for the story, the not all for reading an essay. It had At least 50 C idol. When it descended upon Mount Firmament. With one of the temporal programs lost, it no longer had the power to restore time. Instead, it could only stop and rewind it. So, the Sentinel protected Hongzhen with its power, but it couldn't return mm -hmm. things back to normal? It would seem so. Mm -hmm. According to their theories, the Sentinel's injury would worsen over time. And if the Sentinel perishes, the temporal disruptions will spiral out of control, engulfing all of Jinzhou. <sighs> So the Fraxidus just added a pinch of salt to the already gaping wounds on Mount Firmament. Is there any way to cure the Sentinel? There's nothing we can do. At least that's what it says in these records. Only the Mianlong Chamber can provide temporary relief for the Sentinel, but it won't heal it completely. In the end, the Sentinel and a peculiar visitor who is immune to time disruptions would have to come up with a last resort. Uh, the Corona Sorters. The Sentinel couldn't be fixed, so they decided to replicate its power onto a resonator through induced resonance. Their experiments resulted in the first Kronos Order, a man-made resonance object. So it worked? No. A Kronos Order can only rewind time within a narrow range. It's no match for the Sentinel's immense power. If objects didn't work, then what if it was a person? We are getting closer and closer to the truth. Two more flare stones left. Everything aside, first we must find Jinshi. Uh, okay, I continue onward. Is that a combat yo-yo? You mean Yinlin? You could you could say it's like that. Yo, I went in here. 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 Let me in here. Let me in here. Let me, let me. How do I get in here? Oh! How do I get these? But I don't remember how you get those. Give it to me. Remnants of the past. 
Wow. I really am gonna have I'm a genius It's not for that I don't know where to put this Surely it goes to something, right? Or was it literally just for that? I don't know. Gloom Slug. Another Chronos order. Oh. The second flare stone should be behind this. Oh damn. Well, what's that though? I don't care. Let's restore the collapsed gate with this Chronos order. There is still another photon vault to break. Hmm, we can't reach it from here. We may need to look around for a better vantage point. Let me through. Goodness. Ugh. Chest. That is a chest right there. Bell. Brother. Let let me let me let me out let me out let me out let me out let me let. Me. Okay. Found any keepers? Good. There's no time to waste. I'm smart. Go forward. <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. One last flare stone to go. Yeah, There's but like carrier lift nearby. Perhaps the flare stone is on. Something above the carrier lift seems we've reached the carrier lift. Something above the carrier lift seems stuck. What? Oh. Wrong button. I thought it was just gonna automatically put it in the downward option. I'm not reading that. Is that so? What does it say? So this file confirms that the Chronos Orders are artificial resonance objects. They activate when hit with a strong impact to create the corresponding resonance effects. And this also answers my previous question. The Chronos Orders rewind time through resonating with the Sentinel. 
That sounds really powerful. No, it was nowhere near enough. The Chronos orders shut down once they are removed from the Sentinel's range or the abnormal time flow on Mount Firmament. Plus, as artificial resonance objects, their capacity is limited. According to the Court of Savante researchers, there was a hypothesis that could potentially make them more powerful, the Second Resonance Awakening Hypothesis, which states the collision between two resonating frequencies might cause a Second Resonance Awakening. That prophecy. Yes. That fight has to happen to trigger a Second Resonance Awakening for Jinshi. So she may exert even stronger resonance abilities, ones that allow her to restore the flow of time. Did the Court of Savantes research succeed? Countless Chronos orders were made to collide with the Sentinel's frequencies, but they were no match. All the machines turned to dust. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to say. The Chronos Order briefly showed the power to restore time before breaking apart. This proved that a second awakening can indeed improve resonance ability. The research log mentioned that all Chronos Orders were working in an overdrive mode. It's similar to how human resonators experience overclocking, they wrote. What is overclocking? Overclocking happens when a resonator overexerts their ability. And this researcher who wrote this suggests that it might be the key to triggering a second awakening. It doesn't sound like a good thing. No, it's not. Exhausting oneself will only result in destruction. In addition, I noticed another detail in these records. <laughs> Who goes there? The Chronos orders required. Oh shoot! Control. The ad started. While the Sentinel Jue appeared to be under someone else's command. The ad started. Thank you for the hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause uh, this for a second. Just in case there are people who don't have a sub and would like to see the story. Uh, I will I will quickly just go go do a little stretchy stretch that works right guys do a quick little stretchy stretch um yeah hold on
Boo. We continue. We continue just a little bit. Oh, but I do a hydrate. I already did that hydrate. Whatever. I hydrated again. In the only incident of success, just as the Kronos order was about to break down, that peculiar visitor gave an order to the Sentinel. And the Sentinel successfully transferred some kind of energy to the Kronos order thanks to that order. Overclocking. Do you have an idea? Not really, to be honest. We go this way. Jinchi. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, we chill out. Don't worry. Rover is special. The temporal disruption can't hurt her. I... <coughs> but... Cheng Li... You're... Shh. I gave my word to be your pawn, and I intend to keep it. As your teacher and courtier, it is only right for me to do so. And let's not forget, without me playing the Wayfinder for Rover, we wouldn't even have her here. Rover has a strong connection to this place. You need her help to resolve Mount Firmament's crisis. But we already owe Rover a lot. I don't mind helping you again. Thank you, Rover. Thank you. Rover, I will do everything I can to rescue the Sentinel as soon as possible. And we can finally talk to it in person. It will surely have the answers you want. Let's cut to the chase. What did you find in Truthseeker's past, Jinchi? According to the Court of Savante's records, the Sentinel was already injured upon its arrival at Mount Firmament. As time passed and its condition worsened, the flow of time became unstable here causing temporal disruptions that could potentially threaten Jinjo. Only the Sentinel's appointed Resonator can restore its temporal mandate. Their records indicate a solution. To reverse the rapid aging effect from temporal disruptions, I must deliberately collide with the Sentinel's resonance power during combat. Triggering my second resonance awakening. That will enhance my power beyond its limits. Let's say you can achieve all that. But Chinshi, do you understand what is at stake for yourself? I understand. I share a resonance connection with Jue. But I never took the time to truly get to know it. I've been blind to its suffering for so long. 
Sentinel Jue has been guiding us since the city's founding with its wise words and well-crafted decisions. The temporal disruptions we face are just a side effect of its efforts to protect local people. Without the Sentinel blocking out tacit discords through its time manipulation power, Jinjo would be a barren wasteland today. So what do you plan to do, Jinshi? If the Sentinel's condition is indeed incurable, nobody knows how far the temporal disruptions will continue to spread. Today it's Mount Firmament, but tomorrow it could be all of Jinjo. I... I will. If it truly comes down to that, I'll fulfill Jue's prophecy myself. It's the only way to save Mount Firmament, protect Jinjo, and help the Sentinel. Have you thought about the consequences, Jinshi? Trying to trigger a second awakening by fighting the Sentinel, it could make you overclock at any moment. We both know what that means. You could lose your mind forever, or even disintegrate into dust. You don't want to end up like those chronosorters, shredded under immense pressure. On top of that, do you honestly believe you can fight in your current condition? I can see right through your facade, Jinshi. You're essentially committing suicide at this point. You're one to talk, my teacher. I learn from the best. When have you ever backed down from risking your life for what you believe in? Oh? I don't remember ever teaching you that. We all die eventually, but we need to Not enough cores. as long as we can to achieve more. Jinshi, you must live and inherit the Sentinel's power. Then you can save and protect these people for years to come. Cheng Li. I... Jinshi, I don't intend to stop you. I know you've made up your mind. That's why I brought Rover here. You may have already guessed it. Rover is indeed the hero who fought by our Sentinel's side during Jinjo's early days. She's also the mysterious visitor spoken of in tales about Mount Firmament. All evidence we've gathered points to this being true. If anyone can help us with the situation at Mount Firmament, it must be Rover. I don't remember anything, but I can fight. That that's the best option there. Best option. Thank you, 100%. Teacher. Jing Shi will keep your words in mind. Lastly, we still don't know for sure how the Fraxidus is keeping our sentinel trapped. This will determine if you can actually meet it face to face. Maybe they manipulated the sentinel's weakness? I don't... I don't know. Yes. It could be any of these scenarios. Lady Xingyi is already on the case. We should get an answer soon. The cipher key should be inside the stone chamber behind its entrance gate. There is one more flare stone to work out. Let's get moving.
Look, our last target. On those floating floor tiles. We need a way to restore them. Yeah, I don't, uh... Pain. Back off. Pain. Pain. Uh. Good. There's no time to waste. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Woo 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 woo. Yeah. It's not working. Fuck. We may need to follow a specific order. What's the order? Hold on, I can figure this out. Thanks. <laughs> uh There's nine potential combinations. <laughs> okay, let's swap. Uh, oh my god, Alta, you're literally like 1 HP. I don't know, um... You? You and then you? Did I just do it backwards? It worked. The glass is trap. I did it backwards. I did it backward. Move, move. It's here. We must have worked hard to protect. I did it backwards. I did it backwards. T he, he It's a trap. Watch out. Oh. Oh shit. Who the hell is Bro. 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 I I was caught off guard by angelic angel thing attacking me crystal crystal angel bird crystal angel bird I'm done with all three flare stones biblically accurate laser hawk <laughs> yeah we should be able to access the cipher key now 
It's the only time we get to try Shakely early. I know. Uppies! We go uppies! We go more uppies! <laughs> The cipher key. The cipher key. I've retrieved it. <laughs> Rover, take good care of the cipher key. I'm leaving the rest to you and Jinji. What about you? Please don't forget. I am your wayfinder. I journeyed with you into the mountains to ensure you meet up with Jinshi. Yes. From this point onward, I will be counting on you both to go and confront the Sentinel. This is all I can do for you. You're so hot. You could do a whole lot more trust. I'm here to guide, not intervene. The path is yours to choose. Not to mention, the Fraxidus has been pestering us nonstop. You'll need someone to keep them at bay. The Fraxidus are here for me. Yes, they've been constantly watching you, interested in your every move. They can never seem to take their eyes off of you. They love me. Look at how cute I am. By all means, please carry on without me. As for myself... I have a more fitting location to make my contributions from. Oh, speak of the devils. More fighting. <laughs> how rude. This is not how we greet people here. Allow me to demonstrate the proper etiquette. Aww. Mommy. Artificers are nothing to worry about. Don't worry. Chen Li has her plans. I don't believe we will run into more. Hold on. I have achievements or er, trophies. I have trophies. And a cipher key and event stuff. <laughs> and then, and then, we have the store, and then we get like two of these, 
But that doesn't matter because no, stop. We're just going to go to convene and then we're just going to individually pull five. You know, I wish there was a five button. <laughs> I think we're going on 45. Popcorn! Hello! Last one. That's my four star. What do we get? Another... Okay. It. oh yeah i did one more uh here we go here <laughs> jeez i'm gonna have a max out don't you holy fuck okay I hate to be that person, but I am 100% gonna go and farm some more materials. Darn. Okay, take me to the synthesis. I'm doing good, Bobcorn. Um, I I will be doing the ASMR here shortly. Don't you worry. Don't worry, I, I, I will be raiding out into Withering Wave content. Uh, I don't know how many I needed. I didn't look. I'll be honest, I suck. I really just needed to feed that fucking bird. Wrong person. Here we go. Go back, fairy. Two. I need to. Holograms are painful. Yeah, that bird really don't like me. Okay, cool. I can't even do the second one. <laughs> this bird's kicking my ass, Homura. We're trying the bird again. But this bird is straight up kicking my ass. But if I can just kill that bird, then I can finish this. So I just need to kill this bird. Motherfucker already. Leave it to me. Bask in the sunlight. Oh, the I can use some fertilizer. Hmm. I can use some fertilizer. I've had enough. Get lost. My fear for that sport team.
No. No. I'm never killing this bird. I'm never killing this fucking bird. I'm never gonna kill this fucking bird. I'm never gonna kill this fucking bird. I'm so scared. Fuck. Your time is over. My field of expertise. Time to wrap it up. I over yeah, but I pressed the dodge button. That's what's pissing me off. Is your team just two doms and a sub plant girl? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean, novice echo level? They're great. This is so sad. Why can't I kill this bird? I dodge and it just don't dodge. Hold on, I have to lock in. to lock in i was being a little goofy guy <laughs> out of lock in sorry don't mind me <laughs> i get stage fright okay <laughs> uh, i i know um but i don't really have anyone better <laughs> than my rover yeah i had to i had to lock in sorry forgive me i'm a goofy little guy just a goofy little guy. Anyway, we go back to the store. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs>
Nee. Where's the thing? The thing. You know the thing. Here we go. Thank you for the hev pads. We're gonna go here. Uh, I believe I have enough for one run, right? It takes 40. I believe I have enough for one run, and then we'll just finish off the story. Yeah, it takes 40. And now I get to be a goofy little guy again and get hit by everything. Well, let me out. Bum, bum, bum. I get so hype over some lo fi, man. <laughs> okay, we go here, we grab this. Cool. Uh, we go here, maybe, possibly, nothing. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, well. We just continue. We continue. Who goes there? Average a gate five. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the follow. You are now a baby bat. Welcome on in. We're gonna go back over here. We're gonna we're gonna continue to do a little bit of story stuff, uh, and then and then I'm probably gonna go nibble on a pop tart and uh, do a some more. It's Madam Magistrate. She's back. I must go tell Lady Xin Yi. You better run faster. Chewing pop tarts redeem? No. Jinji places the cipher key onto the key forge. The Mianlun chamber is open now. You can proceed inside. Before you go, there's something important I need to tell you. About how the Fraxidus imprisoned your sentinel? Chang Li was right. They used the Court of Cervantes' research to trap our sentinel in its resting chamber. Heard. How do they do it? They use the chronosorters. Heard. Our captured artificer revealed that the Fraxidus sent a death squad to invade Mount Firmament. They had a twofold plan. Heard. First, to place the chrono sorter in the Mian Lun chamber while it was still operational. And second, to lure the sentinel back to Mount Firmament. Although their death squad was no match for the sentinel, by forcing its hand, the powerful resonance ability of the sentinel would clash with the energy of the chrono sorter. This would ultimately cause harm to itself. Would that really make any difference? Focus on 
Yeah, would that really make any difference? It's a fucking dragon. What if the Fraxidus modified those chrono sorters? A whole bunch of them pushed to their limits, all working together to deliver one massive blow. But not even that was enough to take down the Sentinel. After the first hit, they set up modified flare crests in the Mianlun chamber to form a special force field along with those chrono sorters. It prevented the Sentinel from replenishing energy and eventually restricted its movement and perception. So, we must free the Sentinel from that force field first. It would be a task more complicated than it sounds. The people of Hongzhen have lived with the Sentinel for generations. We can usually tell if it's in good shape or not. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But now, the Fraxidus want to capture the Sentinel. They won't just stop at Mount Firmament. Madam Magistrate, I'm sure you didn't come here just for the Sentinel. Please tell us what you know, Madam Magistrate. Yes. I will tell you everything. So the Sentinel is actually injured. And it's been getting worse. The Fraxidus attacked while it hasn't healed yet. Their plans are devious as always. Madam Magistrate, you've already laid out this plan so far. It's always a challenge to decipher the Sentinel's intentions. But there were many theories about it in City Hall at the time. I couldn't fathom why it went through such great lengths to retrieve you from Mount Firmament and raise you within our walls. But now that I reflect on it, perhaps the Sentinel saw in you the potential to one day restore the temporal program and ensure the survival of Jin Zhou's inhabitants. I just never thought you'd be willing to follow through with that prophecy. It was here on this very mountain that I first encountered the Sentinel. Back then, I was too young to remember anything. Even the image of Mount Firmament has slipped from my mind. But this time, as soon as I stood at the base of Mount Firmament, I felt a wave of recognition wash over me. Memories long buried resurfaced with sudden clarity. Lady Xingyi, I was born with my life, my everything connected to our Sentinel. But my duty as its appointed resonator is not the only reason for my decision. I'm following the heart of my younger self before I became Jinshi. The girl who used to laugh with pure joy as she felt the snow from Mount Firmament on her face. I am a seed, born on Mount Firmament, carried by the wind to every corner of Jinzhou. But now, I have returned to my place of origin. It's time for me to take root and grow into something greater. No matter what happens, or what choices you make, please remember... The people of Hongzhen will always have your back. Mount Firmament has been stagnant for eternity. Perhaps a sudden crack of lightning is what we need to break through the fog of uncertainty that has lingered over us for far too long. 
Once you pass through Hongchen, keep your eyes open for a cave on the northern cliff. That will lead you to a shortcut towards Mianlun Chamber. The place is directly under Mount Firmament's iconic loon-shaped cliff. I wish you two the best of luck. All right, uh, Buncha, yes, all, all good. Um, I was gonna say ASMR is going to be starting in about 40 minutes to an hour from now, but please get, get some good, good EPs. Again, it's it's my fault, it's, it's later. That is 100% my fault. I, I had things to do. Um, and I really wanted to play the new update on Wuwa, so. My bad. <laughs> Jinshi, so far, everything we know about the Sentinel is still just speculation. You were right. But my weakening resonance ability and my connection to the Sentinel leave me no choice but to explore these theories. Whether it's fact or fiction, truth or a lie, I have to confront the Sentinel and see for myself. Everyone should follow though. Uh what's today? Today's Friday. Chambers should be deep in the cave. Let's go. Uh we are going to be having our uh Discord anime night tomorrow. Uh we do that every single week, every single Saturday. We are currently watching Free Run. Um I'm really looking forward to it. I'm I'm really liking Free Run so far. Um Your time is over. My field of expertise. Sure. That's strange. It's our curtain call. So there there's not going to be a game stream tomorrow, but uh Sunday I'm hoping. Um actually after this stream I, I'm going to be putting it on my throne wish list just in case anyone wants to fund it for me. Uh if not, that's okay as well. Uh I'm going I'm hoping to be playing a the last Chilla's art game. I believe I believe I've played every single Chilla's art game except for like the convenience store. Um or something of similar name. Did I get the thing? And that is what I will be playing Sunday. I know sometimes you guys like to buy the games, so that's why I'm putting it up on my throne. But if not Sunday, I will be just purchasing it myself. <laughs> Oh, hi. I was like, why is it unlocked? I've really been enjoying Free Run so far. We're what we're gonna be watching like episodes 13, etc. etc. I, I don't know, I can't do math. Okay, I get it. Fertilizer. Field of expertise. I can't keep going. Zapstrength, the stand. 
stage is yours. One with the sound. None shall whisper. No hesitation. The show begins. Tear them to pieces. My fears are to get to you. discovery we we I don't know who I turned those into yet but the Mian Long Chamber. We should now help the Sentinel break free from the Flare Crest's binds. Yes. The water surface isn't moving at all. Chrono orders nearby may have frozen this body of water in time. Or it could have been caused by the temporal disruptions here. Yes. Either way, we can use it to our advantage. We can walk over the water now. Lit! We are too far away to see what's going on inside. Let's go. I still need more information to determine what we should do next. I kill these things, though. Oh. Field of expertise. <laughs> Zap string. It's our current call. Murdered. All yours. You're welcome. Good. There's no time to waste. <gasps> I'm here. Cutscene. I can feel the sentinel's presence inside, but it's not responding. a really good shot. All right. The flare crest. The Sentinel is telling us we need to find the three flare stones corresponding to the flare crest. Then we will be able to lift the confinement set by the Fraxidus. But I'm not seeing any flare stones. Or any kind of entrance to another chamber. Seems to be something underwater. Let's start with the chrono sorter here. Um, I don't think I will. That's right. I don't think I will. I'm 
There's no collectibles, are there? No, there's no collectibles. Up here anyway. That I would need the water. Well, okay. Maybe I will. The water level has dropped. It's the flare stone. On that rock. Let's go retrieve it. I'm gonna leave you guys on this cliffhanger. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. T. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Yeah, that takes a bit. I figured like once once I got into that, it was going to be like a whole extra thing. Um, but guys, thank you all so super duper very much for being here with me today. Uh, I normally don't stream games this late uh, unless under certain circumstances really um we are going going to be raiding into more wuwa so don't you worry there's no getting out of it too exactly like i just i figured i should probably split here uh, we are going to be raiding a bun bun. We love Yua. We love Yua. Uh, we're we're going to be raiding into Yua, guys. But if you haven't followed me yet, now is the perfect time to do so. I do stream every single day for the most part. I take one day off a week to like... get shit done around my house laundry dishes eating food stuff like that um and kind of just resting getting some uh stuff edited and whatnot uh and then i basically stream every day other than that uh saturday i do kind of take off the gaming stream just so we can uh do the discord anime night but other than that i stream every single day i do asmr every single night for you guys as well so please follow it's free it helps me out a ton i really am trying to reach 4k this week and i only have like one more day to do it <laughs> i really only have like one more day uh so it's tricky i really thought we were gonna get it we need we need 63 more followers uh it's scary but also, go ahead and join my Discord server through that link there. You can notify for when I go live, when I post on Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, all of that good stuff. It's all in the Discord server, as well as our weekly community events. Every Thursday, we get together and play games. Every Saturday, we get together and watch anime. Currently, it's free run. So, join the Discord. It's awesome. I'll also, check out all my socials through that link there. Uh, that has my Patreon, Twitter, Discord, TikTok, YouTube, all of it. Everything that is officially mine is through that socials link right there as well. Um, I post my stream schedule in the Discord, on Twitter, on my Instagram, and uh, even in the Twitch schedule tab as well. So you never have an excuse not to know when I'm going to be going live. And of course, if you would like to support me in any way, shape, or form, you being here, chatting, following, lurking, means a ton to me i appreciate it super duper very much i truly do you could also sub or use your free amazon prime sub on little all me you get ad free viewing tons of super duper cute emotes to use across all of twitch and special roles in that discord server i mentioned before you can also donate to me through that link there all that money goes directly towards me and helps me fund things like my new model or microphone upgrades or games or this or that uh it really does help me out a ton or you could even check out my wish list through that link there uh that basically just has everything that i'm working towards getting actively right now um the new model i will be putting a game up there chill is out chill is art horror game uh after the stream i will be putting that on the wish list as well 
and really just anything it's all mainly stream upgrades i have some stuff for asmr i have some stuff for normal stream etc etc it's all there helps me out a ton but it is never at all required if you would like to add me on wuwa don't know why but just to say you have me added there you go there's my uid for wuwa for you to go ahead and copy and paste uh there's also that code uh withering gift uh don't forget to use that as well and here is the raid message for you all to go ahead and copy and paste. Please give you a Stella tons of love for me, okay? They're super duper cute. I love them super duper much. They are doing the woo And I will be back in roughly an hour, maybe less, with some ASMR, okay? Mwah! I love you all. Have a good night. I hope to see you all tomorrow for anime night. And I hope to see you all later for some ASMR. Have a good night. Mwah!